Welcome to Excel Array Formula Series Number 4. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Array Formula Series 1 to 14. Hey, in trick number 4, we want a way to calculate the maximum improvement from one year to the next. And actually, if you scroll over, you can see the names right there. That's a better view right there. We want to, in one formula, calculate the maximum improvement for any one of these sales reps. Now, the one main advantage of array formulas is that it cuts out a lot of intermediate steps. But when you're learning how to do array formulas, it's helpful to do those intermediate steps and then compare those to how you did it with an array. Let's click right here. The way we get the changes equals the end value 2009 sales minus the earlier value that is a relative cell reference I can control enter and then click and drag it down now these are all the changes and what I want to do is find the uh, most improved uh, sale so in this cell right here I say equals max max finds the maximum value highlight all those values right there close parentheses, enter. There it is. There's the maximum value. Now, let's think about this before we construct this down there. We did max of all these, but what are these up here? Escape. Oh, look, it's this one, one cell to my left minus two cells to my left, enter, F2. Still, one cell to my left times two cells to my left, enter, F2. See how each one of these, it's a whole range of values minus this whole range of values but done in individual cells. So that's how you do a regular formula. Here's how you do an array formula. Equals max, because that was the function we had here, open parentheses, and we'll simply subtract the two ranges. This range right here minus this range. Close parentheses, control, shift, and enter. Remember, you got to hold control and shift and then tap enter. And there it is. That's a one cell method of calculating the maximum improvement. Now look up here. You can see uh, we did our three things that are different than normal formulas. There's a range, operator, a range. So we're doing using ranges instead of individual cells. And we had to use control, shift, enter to put it in. And the curly brackets automatically showed up. Now what about this if I click in this cell and hit um, F2 for edit mode. What's this right here? This is, uh, isn't this a regular formula with a range? Well, actually, the way this works is this is looking through all of these and finding the max. This max returns a single value, so that is not an array. And any formula that's not entered with Control Shift Enter is not an array formula. All right, we'll see you next to array formula trick.